Welcome back to our virtual Sunday School. Hope you had a good week. Um, looking forward to being back in person. Hope we get to see each other face to face real soon. But in the meantime, we're going to do another lesson this way. Some of you watched last week. Maybe some of you didn't. It's been a while. So we'll do a little quick review. Because this week's story talks about the friends of the man who was in last week's lesson. And it's all from Old Testament, another hero of the Old Testament, Daniel. Daniel has his own book. He has 12 chapters all about the things that happened to Daniel and his friends. Daniel is a name you've heard. His friends' names you've never probably heard before. First, we'll review Daniel. We looked at pictures last week. I found a new book um, with some new pictures of Daniel that we can look at. You'll see the title's called Daniel in the Lion's Den. Daniel and his friends lived in Israel. It was captured by Babylonia, the king of Babylon, which was King Nebuchadnezzar. And he took all the best young men, the smartest, the strongest, and had them serve him, work for him in his castle. And he wanted them to worship a him, wanted them to bow down and worship him, and Daniel wouldn't do it. And this is what this artist thought it looked like when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den as his punishment for not worshiping King, Nebuch uh, king Darius, actually was the king, when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. And we talked last week about how upset the king was, and this is how the artist drew him up all night, worrying about what he had done to Daniel. And then the artist drew the angel with the lions in the lion's den, and how the angel protected Daniel. And this week, we're going to learn about his three friends. They seem to have gotten separated. They had different jobs and responsibilities. And the three friends stayed together. First friend's name was Shadrach. I'm sure you don't know anyone with the name Shadrach. Second one's name was Meshach. And the third one's name was Abednego. Now, when I first learned about them, someone taught me you could, could help you to learn them if you learn this little silly rhyme, sort of. Shadrach was shake the bed. Meshach, you would remember, make the bed. And Abednego was, and to bed we go. So it was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they too only worship the one true God. Their parents had taught them when they lived back in Israel, and they knew that even though they'd been captured and taken to Babylon, they were still with God. God had gone with them. Now King Nebuchadnezzar decided that they should worship this golden statue he had made. Nebuchadnezzar set out a decree, a rule, that every time you heard a bell ring, you had to bow down and worship this statue. Well, they agreed they were not going to do that. Didn't matter what the penalty was. Well, it wasn't being thrown in the lion's den, it was being thrown in the fiery furnace. I'm not sure which is worse, but they were going to be thrown into the fiery furnace. Well, they had some workers who were jealous of them, and they wanted to get them in trouble, so they went straight to King Nebuchadnezzar and let him know that these three guys were not following the rule. So they were brought before King Nebuchadnezzar, and you can see there's the fiery furnace. Now, it's a little different than the lion's den. They wouldn't be thrown in the top, they would kind of be walked in, and Nebuchadnezzar could see what was going on in there. That's important for later in the story. So the three young men were brought before King Nebuchadnezzar, and he said, do you know what the rule is? Do you know what you're supposed to do? And they said, yes, but we're not going to do it. And he said, well, what God will be able to rescue you? 
and they said, the God we serve is able to save us. That made Nebuchadnezzar so angry, so, so angry. And he said, he told his men to make the fire seven times hotter, to bind them up, tie them up so they couldn't get loose, and to throw them in. And they says that it's so hot, the men who threw them in got burned. And they were thrown in, and there they were. But someone else joined them. There was a fourth person in that fiery furnace with them. Once again, God sent an angel. And when Nebuchadnezzar looked in, he yelled to his workers, How many men did you put in there? And they said, Three. We put three in. And he said, Well, look again. There's a fourth one in there, and it looks like the Son of God. Probably the angel glowed. And then Nebuchadnezzar called to the three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out. And the three of them came out of the fiery furnace. And Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel to rescue his servants. And they were safe. And the workers and the king touched them. They didn't even smell like they'd been in fire. Their clothes were not burned. They were perfectly safe. And Nebuchadnezzar was very humble. And he promoted the three of them, gave them important jobs, and knew that the God they served was truly the one true God. Well, you may wonder, why did God put the story about Daniel in the lion's den and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego both in this book of, of the Bible and the book of Daniel? Maybe it's to remind us that no matter where we go or what happens to us, and even when we're afraid, God is with us. So let's take a minute and thank the Lord for taking care of us and protecting us and forgiving us the stories in the Bible. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your Bible. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you are always with us and you take care of us and you protect us and you watch over us just like you did Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Thank you for your protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the link where your parents clicked on to come to this lesson, in that same email, you can go to another link and print out the pictures from the story. You can print out your own Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and make your own fiery furnace. There are some other things you can do online or print out games to do. Some things are a little easy. You may not want to do them. And we'll meet back maybe in person, maybe back this way next week. No more heroes of the Old Testament. We're going to learn about Jesus, his life, his ministry, and his teachings. Have a great week, and see you next time. Bye.